Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for June 13th. Today's devotion is titled Expecting Jesus. The Bible reading is from Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 to 44. However, no one knows the day or hour when these things will happen, not even the angels in heaven or the Son himself. Only the Father knows. When the Son of Man returns, it will be like it was in Noah's day. In those days before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time Noah entered his boat. People didn't realize what was going to happen until the flood came and swept them all away. That is the way it will be when the Son of Man comes. Two men will be working together in the field. One will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding flour at the mill. One will be taken, the other left. So you too must keep watch, for you don't know what day your Lord is coming. Understand this. If a homeowner knew exactly when a burglar was coming, he would keep watch and not permit his house to be broken into. You must also be ready all the time, for the Son of Man will come when least expected. My friend Paul was awaiting the arrival of a technician to repair his refrigerator when he saw a text on his phone from the appliance company. It read, Jesus is on his way and is expected to arrive at approximately 11.35 a.m., Paul soon discovered the te technician's name was indeed Jesus. But when, when can we expect Jesus, the Son of God, to arrive? When he came as a man 2,000 years ago and suffered the penalty of our sin, he said he'd be back. But only the Father knew the precise day or hour of his return. What difference might it make in our day-to-day -day priorities if we did know the moment our Savior is coming back to earth? Jesus cautioned us to be ready for his return. The Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. He reminded us to keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. On the day of Christ's return, we won't get an alert on our phone to give us a heads up. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. So through the power of the Spirit working through us, let's live each day with a perspective of eternity, serving God and taking advantage of every opportunity to share his message of love and hope with others. How are you motivated by Jesus' imminent return? And what can you expect when he comes again? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.